Hello, everybody. All right, so today we're on lesson 6.5, relate subtraction and division. Our essential question is, how is division related to subtraction? We're on page 235 of the third grade GoMath textbook. So let's look at the unlock the problem. Serena and Mandy brought a total of 12 newspapers to school for the recycling program. Each girl brought in one newspaper each day. For how many days did the girls bring in newspapers? All right, so we have 12 total newspapers, and there's two girls. So if they each bring in one newspaper a day, that's two per day, right? So how many days did the girls bring in newspapers? How many newspapers were brought in altogether? 12. How many newspapers did the two girls bring in all together each day? Two. All right, so one way we can solve this problem is to use repeated subtraction. We would start with 12, and we'd keep subtracting two until we reach zero. So we're going to count, then you're going to count the number of times you subtract two. That would be the quotient for this. So 12, take away two, gives us 10. 10 take away 2 is 8. 8 take away 2 leaves us 6. 6 take away 2 leaves us 4. 4 take away 2 leaves 2. And 2 take away 2 is 0. So how many times did we subtract 2? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So since it sub subtracts 2 6 times, there are six groups of two in 12. So they brought in newspapers for six days. The division problem would be 12 divided by 2 equals 6, or 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Okay. You might wonder, couldn't I just use groups like I did in the last lesson? Yeah. Okay. But we're relating the idea that repeatedly subtracting is division, okay? That's what we're doing when we repeatedly subtract the same number, we're dividing. It's kind of like repeatedly adding is similar to multiplication. Okay, so count back on a number line would be another way. So we'd start at 12, and we'd subtract groups of two. So we'd have jumps of two until we got to zero. So two puts us at eight, Two more puts us at six. Two more is at four. Two more is at two. And then if I subtract two more, I'm at zero. So I jumped back by twos six times. So six jumps of two and 12. 12 divided by two is six. What do your jumps of two represent? Each time we jumped back two, what do they represent? the number of newspapers the girls brought in each day. Okay. So the two represents the number of newspapers the girls brought each day. All right, draw the rest of the jumps on the number line to complete the division equation, equation 12 divided by 4. So in this case, we're jumping back by 4s until we get to 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, we're at 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, we would be at 4, and that would be our second jump. 1, 2, 3, 4 puts us at 0, so 12 divided by 4 is 3. Write a division equation, 10 minus 5. So we're repeatedly subtracting 5. So we start at 10. We're going to divide by 5. And we see that there were two times that we subtracted 5. All right, how about number 3? The number line starts at 8. And we're going to divide by how many times are they subtracting? So each time I jump, the first jump ended at 6. 
the next one ended at 4, then 2, then 0. So they're dividing by 2. 8 divided by 2 gives me 1, 2, 3, 4 jumps. Okay. Remember, we're working on how, how many are repeatedly subtracted. Okay, so we start at 8. They subtracted 2. That's one jump. Okay, we're not... Could you write 8 divided by 4 equals 2? You could. But based on this lesson, we're working on repeatedly subtracting. So we want to look at the number line and subtract, not the number of jumps. All right, number four. So we see that they're subtracting seven over and over. So that's what they're dividing by. They're dividing by seven. And I know we're starting at 28 because that's the largest value. And then they subtracted seven. So they subtracted seven, one, two, three, four times. 28 divided by seven equals four. Okay, here on the number line, our answer will be 3. We're starting at 9. So how much are they subtracting each time they made a jump? So if we start at 9, we don't count 9. That's not 1. The first jump is, our first move is 8. So 1, 2, 3. So their first jump stopped at 6. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so they're dividing by 3. And that gives us 3 jumps. Number six, okay, I see that we're dividing by eight. I know that because they're subtracting eight repeatedly. We start with 24, that's the dividend. We're dividing by eight. How many times did we subtract eight? One, two, three times. Number seven, okay, our number line starts at 20, so that's the dividend. What's the divisor? The divisor, we're subtracting how much? If we go from 20 to 15, that's a difference of 5. 15 to 10, that's a difference of 5. 10 to 5, difference of 5. 5 to nothing, difference of 5. So they're repeatedly subtracting 5 on each jump. How many jumps did they make? 4. So 4 jumps of 5 is 20. Write a word problem that can be solved by using one of the division equations above. All right, well, let's see. Mm. Okay. This February had 28 days. If there are seven days in a week, How many weeks were in February? So it would be 28 divide by 7 equals 4, because we're just repeating the, I'm using number 4. Okay, so you can use any of these up here to write your question. Number 9, use repeated subtraction or a number line to solve. 18 divide by 6. Okay. Since I'm dividing by 6, that means subtract 6. 18 take away 6 is 12. Now 12 take away 6 is 6. 6 take away 6 is 0. So I subtracted 6 1, 2, 3 times. 14 divided by 7. Okay, so we subtracted 7 two times. 14 divided by 7 is 2. 
27 divide by 9. 27, take away 9. I can't take 9 from 7, so I'll regroup that as 110 and 17 ones. 17 take away 9 is 8 ones, 18. All right, so 18 take away 9. 18 take away 9 is 9. 9 take away 9 is 0. I subtracted 9 three times from 27. And 24 divide by 3. 24 minus 3, 21. 21 minus 3, again, I can't take 3 from 1. So I'll regroup that as 110 and 11 ones. 11 take away 3 is 8, so we're at 18 now. 18 take away 3 leaves me 15. 15 take away 3, we're at 12. 12 take away 3 is 9. 9 take away 3 is 6. 6 take away 3 is 3. 3 take away 3 is 0. So I've subtracted 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times. So 24 divided by 3 is 8. And number 13. Use the graph for 13, 15. All right, so let's make sure we understand what the graph is telling us. Box top collections. So on the left-hand side, we have the number of box tops, and these are the students on the horizontal side. So Matt brought in 10 box tops. Paige brought in 25 box tops. Dwayne brought in 15, and Alma brought in 20. So Matt put his, puts his box tops in two equal piles. How many box tops are in each pile? All right, so Matt. Matt brought in 10. So his prop problem is 10 divided by 2. Okay, so 10 take away 2 is 8. 8 take away 2 is 6. 6 take away 2 is 4. 4 take away 2 is 2. 2 take away 2 is 0. We subtracted 2 5 times. Number 14, Paige bought, brought an equal number of box tops to school each day for five days. Alma also brought an equal number of box tops each day for five days. How many box tops did the two students bring in all together? Paige brought an equal number of box tops to school each day for five days. Alma also brought an equal number of box tops each day for five days. How many box tops did the two students bring in all together each day? Okay, so we need to figure out how many they brought each day. So let's start with Paige. Paige has 25. So Page will be 25 divided by 5. Okay. That's going to tell us how many she brings each day. Alma collected or brought in 20 box tops over a five day period. Okay, so 25 minus 5 is 20. 20 minus 5 is 15. 15 minus 5 is 10. 10 minus 5 is 5, and 5 minus 5 is 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I subtracted 5 from 25 five times. So she brought in five box tops each day. Alma has 5, five 20, subtract 5, 15. 15 take away 5, 10. 10 take away 5, 5. 5 take away 5, 0. 
So we subtracted 5 from 20, 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So she brings in 4 box tops per day. So how many box tops did the two students bring in all together each day? They brought in 9. 5 plus 4 equals 9. Dwayne collects another 15 box tops and puts all his box tops into bins. He puts an equal number in each bin. The answer is 5. What's the question? The answer is 5. What's the question? So Dwayne put another 15. So 15 plus 15, because he already has 15, right? Dwayne's at 15. He collects another 15 box tops and puts them into bins. So 15 plus 15 is 30. The answer is five. Okay, so we have to figure out if the answer is 5, how many times would we have to subtract 5 from 30? 25, 20, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so he put 6 box tops in each bin. How many bins are there? Okay. All right, and number 16. Maya collected four box tops each day. She collected 20 box tops in all. For how many days did Maya collect box tops? So four box tops per day, 20 box tops total. So our problem is 20 divided by 4. So we're going to count back by 4 on our number line. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So our first jump stops at 16. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're now at 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're at 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're at 4. And then 4 take away 4 would be 0. So we would jump back 5 times or 5 days. Okay, so that's it for lesson 6.5, uh, relating subtraction to division. Uh, next time we meet, we will be going over the mid-chapter checkpoint for Chapter 6. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.